Hey, welcome to Farm Talk Friday, remote on location edition. I'm Ken Jordan. This is my beautiful wife, Giovanna. Honey, you look so amazing. Ah, thanks, baby. With your reindeer, my reindeer. Christmas cap. It's the holiday season. This is the holiday edition. We're in a beautiful Pacifica Beach, California, just south of San Francisco. Uh, and what's going on today? I don't know. I don't want to give too much information, but I do have roots here. Yes, roots. Already hard. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just amazing here. Yeah, it's super beautiful. And it's actually nice. I, I am usually afraid to come to San Francisco because of the weather, and I'm out here in this little dress, and I feel okay. And you look, and you look awesome. Honey. Oh, thanks. Honey. All right. So shout out to my mom who might possibly join in for a second if okay. she makes it this won't be too long but okay and, and uh, hopefully we're talking loud enough over the waves yes so <laughs> all right um let's real quick get to our permaculture principles we are on permaculture principle number three and number three is a real simple one but there's a lot of ways to go about it so number three is obtain a yield and that just means you know eat what you grow sort of that's the simplest version you know you like, can't... like plant things that you can yield well it means a lot of things but it, you know it's like you can't work on an empty stomach you know so you can't do all this work for nothing so you want to uh, obtain a yield and so the most simplistic way to look at that is you know if you're growing food make sure you, you get, get some <laughs> make sure you get some a lot of times we grow most of our food for all of the little animals that eat them but we 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 get some as well and it's only two of us so it works out just fine now you can look at it many other ways too because um our solar panels we obtain a yield from our solar panels we get energy from our solar panels and uh our solar system is uh, is a permaculture principle. Uh, another way we get uh, we obtain a yield is from our chickens. Our chickens produce eggs every day. They're just on a fantastic streak right now, and uh, <laughs> so that's another way to obtain a yield. And then uh, I'm going to sort of invent or or apply a uh, permaculture. Um, sort of translation to principle number three like let's say you're growing uh just beautiful ornamental plants that might produce beautiful flowers that might attract some butterflies and hummingbirds and bees now and let's say that makes you happy so i say that is obtaining a yield a yield the of happiness, happiness. Yeah. And it's also super helpful for those other animals. So uh, that's permaculture yeah. principle number three. If they're pollinators um, or the pollinators get a benefit, then that's obtaining a yield because they're helping you um, with your crops. So, there you go. There we go. So now in other news, uh, we're on permaculture principle number three for this broadcast, our um, Farm Talk Fridays, but Permaculture Pinup has been running a 12 Days of Yule Advent calendar. It's like a digital Advent calendar that we started on December 12th, right. and it will run until Christmas. And so we're on day 10 for that. And uh, and so you know, if you want to skip ahead, you could actually go and check out all the way up through Permaculture Principle number 10 today. And then of course we'll have two more as we go forward towards that March of the end of. Yule times. Who, who is the number 10 pinup? Well, I can't say because that's our reveal for the day. Ah, okay, you have to go um, look. You have to go look and we'll put uh, the link in the comments. But I was permaculture principal number nine yesterday. All right. That's right. And where do we go? Pin permaculture pinup.org? Yeah, but I, I think it'd be better if you just click the link be, be down there because I don't have it easily accessible on the website where you can just go. Okay. Don't ask me about and Down why. there is not 
right this second if you're watching live but that's right but it's easily found on my personal page yeah. i just posted um today about it so it's it's all over the place it's on green wave house page and the green wave page as well okay so i wanted to do some more shout outs go ahead okay so um monica uh salazar kraus um it was really great to see her and her husband we haven't seen them in a long time she just gave me this beautiful dress so it um well she gave me lots of things so she went through her closet and she's like oh you're in town and she gave me this whole bag to go through and i was actually able to get many things and so that's kind of you know a nice thing to do is to like you know pass on your clothes and not just toss them away and i don't think a lot of people do that anymore but um but just so that you have that option to remember that like you can pass things on to your friends or you can bring them to a thrift store um, my mom was volunteering at a thrift store um, this holiday season actually before she left to come up here all right shout out to Linda. yeah and um, shout out to Eva Bunny we saw her as well we actually went to the world famous uh, Taco Bell not trying to really plug them but um, but she, Eva eats vegan and so she figured out that it's easy to eat at Taco Bell vegan because you can customize anything on their new little panels. And so um, you can like order whatever it is that they have and then you can like subtract things. And, um, and so it's not necessarily the most nutritious food, well, but, that we're, but you can eat there if you're vegan. And, so. we're, and we're burying the lead a little bit here. The, the Taco Bell in Pacifica is the most amazing, beautiful, beautiful. Taco Bell. It's, it's like ocean front. It's a cantina. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. So um, shout out to Eva Bunny and she pimped us out with her Plur, Plur AF <laughs> uh, gear. So it's, uh, she's part of a collective uh, and so it stands for uh, Plur Asian Females, but, um, but it also stands for Plur AF as well. And then um, shout out to Julian, who was behind the Electronic Awakening event that we were just part of a few days ago. And he actually, he's done so much, not just for um, the electronic scene, but also kind of, um, I don't want to say the transformational scene, but, but there's been a community of, you know, electronic music aficionados that were also kind of early into permaculture. And Julian was part of that permaculture book. Um, I can't think of the name right now. It's like get back to the village or bringing it back to the village. And that was before we went on our adventure to be part of an eco village. Go figure. It was a couple years um, predating that. So, okay. And uh, also important news, uh, electronic awakening, the film, which, uh, uh, we were a part of, uh, the crystal method has some music in there. Uh, uh, Anyway, we were just at the uh, 11th anniversary of its uh, release, and uh, now it's available for free. And you can go to electronicawakening.org? No, not .org. Dot .net. Anyways, you can go to Keyframe Entertainment. I'll put that, um, it's on his movie list okay. um, on Julian's thing. So I'll put that in the comments to this Awakening, well. yes. Go check it out. Or Google it. Yeah. <laughs> it's free. So anyway, thank you for uh, joining us. If anyone has, we're on Green Wave House page. So yeah. sometimes that's a little less active when we're going live. But um, another shout out to my mom. She gave me this really pretty Christmas purse. So thanks, mom. I've had it for like 10 years. I give a shout out to my shoulder for holding the phone up. This yes, one. and to Ken's family <laughs> for um, birthing this beautiful being. <laughs> And um, shout out to the solstice that just passed. Thank you, sun, for continuing to shine on us. Um, and I like the moon, too. Yeah. It's great. All right. And the ocean. See you next week okay. from Costa Rica. Bye-bye. <laughs>